What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This time I'm playing Just Cause 4. I'm checking the reshade filter, the uh, Super 3D VR FX, whatever it's called. I'm testing it out, and I made some adjustments. And unfortunately, I had to... I normally, I normally play games on native like 4k resolution because i am a spoiled little bitch like that but this time around i can't i had to lower the game down to 1440 i mean i could have left it at 4k but i i was getting not getting the desired frames i'm trying to achieve at least 60 because i'm wearing my headset right now so uh yeah it's working okay uh, 3D looks pretty good. Um, it's not as strong as some of the other games that I'm used to, but it's still there, though. You know, it's not bad. It's, uh, you can especially notice it when you move around behind trees or foliage, grass. Um, it feels as if the leaves here are, like, popping out at you. So... Um, like I said in my other previous Just Cause 3 uh, brief gameplay video playthrough, uh, it's not like a full VR experience where you're actually, you actually feel like you're really in the game. Uh, it's more like you're watching or playing in front of a very large TV and it has the stereoscopic 3D effect, which is cool. It's, better than, it's definitely better than nothing. So, um, I really don't mind it. And, yeah, there's no six degrees of freedom. Um, I guess it's just three degrees of freedom. Uh, there's no sense of depth where I can move in and out. And Yeah, you're, it's, it's, you're basically in front of a, uh, a very large screen TV. That's what it feels like. And, um, there's 3D, the 3D effect to it. So... It's okay. Um, the frame rate's decent right now. It's not bad. Uh, I lowered down to 1440p. Uh, 2560 by 1440. Uh, if you don't have a powerful rig, then yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get away with 4K. So all right, I'll play for a little bit, for a little while, and then I'll check out another game. Uh, I tried Cyberpunk 2077, and yeah, not having it at all. My computer basically gave me the virtual middle finger and told me to go fuck myself. So. Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna be working. Unless uh someone like Prey Dog or Luke Ross finds a way to uh really convert that game into a uh VR experience. Uh you're 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 not gonna be able to play that game. Uh on any HMD. Uh the Vorpex you could sorta of do it, but it's not really that good. Um The creator or developer of Warpex tried to jump on the whole VR hype train as soon as Prey Dog and Luke Ross's mods came out. Yeah, and uh, the cocksucker tried to make his own thing, tried to make it like it was the best thing ever. And I tried it out, and I was like, bro, go fuck yourself. This is not VR at all. It's I don't know what that shit was, but the dude wasn't fooling anybody uh, for his overpriced software either. So I, I still have Warpex, but there's only like a handful of games that really works well on what the hell is that is that a cow no is that a llama oh I don't know what the fuck that is alright so yeah it's his his version is not it's not good at all so uh if you're watching this video I suggest you keep away from it and wait for Luke Ross I think he might be coming out with something uh relatively soon in a couple of months. Anyway, so without further ado, let me let me stop yapping away as usual. Um, going on my lengthy diatribes here, and let me check out the the gameplay. I have no idea what I'm doing in this game, where to go. The the mods, the actual mod mods in the game, for your what do you call this thing, your grappling hook is a little confusing to me. Uh, there's different parameters you can adjust on it, and I don't know. It's an okay game not bad uh, as usual it's got crazy destruction 
Damn, it looks okay. Yeah, I love the fact that I got a jetpack now. That is cool. That is very cool. And you know what? I think what I'm going to do, I got to take the HUD off. It's kind of distracting to me. It's gameplay. HUD? Yeah. HUD, HUD, HUD. Hide button hints. Hide all. Reticle only. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Well, uh, okay, now I can't see where I'm supposed to go. But I'm, I'm not gonna, you know what, I don't even care. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna play around with it. So I'm not here for the story or to complete this game. Decent game, but I got so many other games to play, it's, I kinda just forgot about this shit. It's getting a little laggy here. Even on 1440, it's getting laggy. We find a military base. I could try to destroy some shit. Yeah, as you can see, the edges here. It's not really in VR. But if you have a vivid imagination, you could pretend that it is, though, so. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind playing. I, I kind of like this. Uh, where is there a base? Let me see. I think there's something in front ahead of me here. Oh, another thing. Uh, if anybody's watching this, just make sure. Let me show you. Right here. For the 3D, um, super depth 3D VR thingy, um, I have it all the way up, maxed out to like 75. Uh, depth map. Okay, right here, I have it on reversed. So just make sure you do that. Compatibility. Let me try that. Okay. Depth math adjust. What is this for? This allows for you to adjust the DM depth map precision. Adjust is to keep it as low as possible. Default is 7.5. Really? Let me try 7, see what happens. Okay, I don't know what I did, but it seems like there's a little more 3D now. Looks good. Not bad, not bad at all. weird playing this in VR because it's it kind of feels like I'm watching I don't know how to explain it he's like a toy or like a figurine that I'm watching from afar that's what, that's what it kind of feels like let me move back a little bit alright Is 
Is this a base? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's not a base. It's like a missile silo. I don't know what the. I don't see any red barrels or... Anything that signifies objects that I can destroy, so... Oh. Yeah, I love the fact that he's got a jetpack now. Because before, it was kind of tedious to keep him kind of airborne. What? Did you say? Yeah. Who's that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything I can kill. Let me check out the map here. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I see. Part of the map is... It's like coming out at me. What's this? All right, the USS Watchdog, the agency's tip of the spear. The Watchdog's record a more successful deployment center in there. Blah blah blah. Uh, I think that was a DLC that I bought a while ago. Quachas. Alright, who's this? The Dawnflower. This scene features fast vehicular action and the kind of emotional stakes only Garland King could deliver. Mm. Uh, this map is pretty big. Yeah, there's a lot of icons here. Okay, there I am. What's this? Ah, uh, it's just racing shit. Alright, and literally just according to the code, the bosses of the Solita Underground require a trial of skill behind the wheel. Blah, blah. Alright, I completed some shit here. a driving thing here. So I don't like these little challenges. They're just... I don't know. I just want to do the main story. Alright, well, I'm just gonna fly around. Fuck that. You know, there is another game I should check out to see how it fares. It's uh, Mad Max. That's a great game.
All right, I, s I think I see some shit. Yeah, that is definitely some kind of military base of some kind or some kind of communication center. Let's see if I can destroy it. I think I see a Ferris wheel there in the distance. too well. Nice. that is a hoverboard Destroy that thing right here. No, I can't. All right, I'm gonna need some height here. Just and unrighteous. Here we go, boy. <laughs> oh, that was gay. <laughs> nice. Repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Let me get that. Probably need another shot. Here we go. I keep falling short. It's my last ex-girlfriend said. <laughs> I 
Ooh, ooh, I want to destroy that thing. Come here. That sucks. Oh, I'm at the Ferris wheel thingy. Yeah. Killing civilians is fun. Okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. I just grappled onto her. Alright, I'm gonna finish destroying these satellite thingies. These satellite dishes, and then I'm gonna call it a day. Check out another game. It just takes forever to destroy these things. Jeez. Yes, it did. Sweet. There's a lot of shit here, holy shit. Satellite dish just disappeared. Ah, uh, fell short again. Who's this? I was an ally, but I don't care. textures. Jetpack gameplay was a little more entertaining on Just Cause 3. I don't know why.
missed again. Alright, I'm gonna fly somewhere else. Farmhouse of some kind. Eh, kill some farmers, why not? Alright. I think that's gonna be all. It's okay. Not a bad game, but I've seen I've seen better 3D effect on other on other games. I mean it's not the worst, but it feels it's sort of in between, I'd say. Oh. More things to destroy. Okay. Hold on a sec. It's a big smokestack. Chimney looking thing. Oh, I see another thing here. Oh, wait. See, it keeps popping in and out. That, that's not good. Probably if I had this game installed on, a, on an SSD or NVMe drive, it wouldn't do that.
big explosion. Alright, I'm gonna take out the smokestack and then I'm gonna call it quits. Take out these little gasoline tanks. <laughs> All right. And let me land. All right. All well, that will be all. And I shall see y'all in the next one. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like and subscribe. If anybody needs any assistance, any help installing the reshade and getting the VR to work, then don't hesitate to drop a comment or leave a message or, you know, you know what I'm saying. All right. Take care, everybody, and have a good one. Bye-bye.